Chris here and welcome to a real world test of the action mode and the iPhone 14 Pro Max video quality. So I do have an external mic because it's incredibly windy here at the moment. It is very stormy as you can see, so I'm using a wind filter with an external road mic hooked up, but when I do the action mode test, I won't be using any mic here. So what I plan on doing is riding up to this tower here at the top. Now this is two times digital zoom, so I'm gonna cycle right up here. This is the three times optical camera now. This is what I'll be using as my mount here. So it is a GoPro chest mount, and I've just got an adapter here from Manfrotto, which I'll be putting the iPhones into. So it's on my chest to give us that, well, action camera perspective, testing out the action camera mode. This is basically what it is going to look like. I've got the iPhone there, you can see in the mount. Now the iPhone is quite heavy. This particular mount style is not actually designed a chest mount to carry this kind of weight. So hopefully it's not gonna rock around too much, but I've tightened these straps up as hard as possible to cut down on the movement here of the iPhone. So from now on, I've got no external mic connected up. This is the internal mics of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And this here is the beast that I will be riding, which is the Trek Rail 5 2021, for those interested in mountain bikes, e-bikes. Okay, so let's do this. The footage you're looking at now, this is the ultra wide without the action mode and navel, just to get an idea of the kind of stability as I just ride along casually here. Keeping with the ultra wide still, but I have now turned on the action mode, should look quite a bit steadier. Ultra wide, super steady mode off. So I just wanted to show you very quickly the tower which I'm climbing up to. Now this is a 16th century coastal defense. And what it was used for is to defend against pirate raids, which used to be a big problem here on the Mediterranean coast. So that's one times, two times, and three times. You can see those people walking down there. So it defaults to the ultra wide, the action mode, which I have on now. And this is 2.8K resolution. And as I showed you before, a GoPro Pro chest mount is what I'm using. It's a beautiful spot this here, but let's get on with it. Let's do the test already. So I can feel it bobbing up and down with the mount here, but it seems to be not moving around as much as I thought it would be. So how does the footage look? I can't see it, of course. I'm gonna go down the real rough, rocky part here, roll over all of this, and hopefully this is some usable footage. Imagine one day you came out, you forgot your GoPro. You forgot your GoPro Hero 10, your 11, and you thought, hang on, I've got action mode on the iPhone 14 Pro, so I'll use that. Now the climb back up, I'm gonna be lazy here and use the motor. That's why I brought this bike and get back up to the top. So still, still in the action mode, ultra wide, 2.8K resolution. Now it's time for me to swap over to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I don't have an external mic, so you're gonna hear a lot of wind noise. It's probably sounding terrible. You can see there just to confirm that is the 13 Pro Max. I'm gonna put that in the mount now. So here we go, iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's the 4K option, and I don't, of course, have action mode with this. So I'm gonna go down the rough part here. I'm not gonna to keep to the smooth part, and we'll see if the footage is actually gonna be usable. I imagine it probably won't be. So I'm just gonna drop down here. Oh, need to drop my seat down as well. Okay, so a little bit of rocky stuff here, same as before, but is this footage usable? Is it better maybe? Sharper resolution, maybe it looks a little bit better, but it will probably be shaking a lot more because it doesn't have that aggressive electronic image stabilization. Okay, so one last test here, action mode, and I can see that what I'm doing is very, very rough. You really do need a GoPro camera for this kind of rough stuff, this downhill stuff here. So I've got it in the mount. Again, I'm gonna try and tighten it as tight as possible so it doesn't bounce around too much. But this time around, I'm gonna to keep to the smooth road. Perhaps it might be usable then or more usable with just a smooth road here. I've got the camera unfortunately pointing down a little bit because of the mount. But going down this trail here, how does this look? Hopefully this is some usable footage right here. Then I'm on the smooth part and the camera is not just bouncing around the whole time. There's a little bit of bounce that I can feel now. Certainly don't want to go off that edge right there. It's a long drop. No safety handrails here in Spain. 
a little bit rougher here now. It's still a lot smoother than, than before with all that rocky stuff. Just gonna watch my speed out, otherwise I'll go flying off the edge here. Do not want to do that. So that's a wrap. What do you think of the iPhone 14 Pro Action Mode? Is it a usable quality? I don't think it was with the real rough stuff. Certainly not that iPhone 13 Pro footage. That was shaking all over the place. So if you did forget your GoPro Hero 11 or 10 you left it at home, go back and get it. You don't want to be using your iPhone here unless it's super steady stuff where you'll be on smooth surfaces, handheld, not a chest mount like this that tends to bob around a little bit too much. It's just too heavy for this kind of mount, which does make sense. Now, if you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison of the action mode up against the Galaxy S22 Ultra from Samsung and then the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, which has a one-inch sensor, check out my camera comparison video of that, which should be popping up now. And I do hope to see you in the next one. Please like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't like this kind of video, so then I know not to ever make one again. But if you want to see a comparison with the GoPro Hero 11, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll buy one. Maybe I'll compare it and do the same exact test and see just how close or how far away this iPhone 14 Pro really is. So there we go. What did you think? Action mode. Is it actually usable if you forgot your GoPro Hero 10 or 11? Could you get away with using some of that footage? I definitely don't think so when it comes to that real rough stuff that I was riding here with my mountain bike. But maybe smoother kind of roads or you're running behind someone using it handheld. Yeah, it definitely would be possible there. And you've got 2.8K resolution. Now, if you want to see the action mode up against the Galaxy S22 Ultra and also the Xiaomi 12S Ultra with its one inch sensor, I've got a camera comparison, so do check that out. It features some footage of that action mode as well as just using the normal video mode. So that is interesting. And again, thank you so much for watching this video here and do subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one.